Oh my god, I thought I was melting my table. <laughs> it's not. The end doesn't get hot. So these are completely new to me. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am testing a new hair tool from Chi. So it's actually the Chi Lava 1 inch volcanic lava ceramic curl shot. <laughs> is a mouthful. So I usually use a curling iron and not a wand. And the one time I tried a wand, I actually burned my neck so bad. It looked like I had a hickey for like two weeks. So that was a few years ago. I have not tried one since because I was pretty traumatized. But I really do think that this one will be easier to use because of the shape of the tool. So I like that it's more ergonomic. So instead of having to like wrap your hair around this way or like do something special you really just kind of hold it straight up so if you have wrist problems or if your arms just get tired from manipulating the wand a million different ways i think this would be really good for you and also it has the cool shot of air that blows air out so it actually it claims to hold the curl longer and better i've tested this two times the first time was really not great but the second time i was amazed with the results so this will be the third time i'm using it I'm no pro, but I think that this is something that honestly is really, really easy to use. And after practicing a few times, I was able to figure it out. So I like it. So a little bit about this device. So it's a one inch curling iron. It has the cool shot, like I said, and it also has the LCD digital temperature display. So I like how it has buttons and it tells you the temperature that it's on. So right now it's on 370 and then to adjust the temp, you push the power button, so push the button on the bottom, and then you push the temperature. So you're not going to be accidentally playing with the temperature while you're curling your hair. You set it before, it locks the temp in place, and then you start curling. So for me, I have pretty thick, coarse, straight hair, and it's pretty healthy. So 370 is a little bit hot. I would say if you have thin hair, try starting on a lower temp and working your way up if you need, if it's like the curls aren't holding. But really, you should use your hair tools at the lowest possible setting that still styles your hair the way you want. So 370 is like my good temp. I use it on my curling iron and I use it on this. I just find that it works for me. Another thing I like about this is it has the one hour shut off. So if you haven't used it, or even if you've been curling your hair for an hour, which I highly doubt, it will still shut off and you'll have to turn it back on to continue using it. I think that's a really nice feature, especially if you're one of those people that tends to leave your curling iron or straightener on, this just turns off for you. So the device also came with this glove, which I really appreciate because I'm not that skilled at using a wand yet. And so I use this and I don't burn myself. And in the two times I've used it so far, I haven't burned my neck. So hopefully I don't do that today. Okay, so if you're gonna follow along for a tutorial, what you'll need is two different size clips, a hairbrush, hairspray if you want it. I'm using the Chi Enviro 54 hairspray today. This is a natural hold hairspray, so it's not gonna be super stiff and then the glove and of course the device. The reason you want two clips is because you're, you're gonna clip some hair on top of your head and then after you curl your hair, I like to clip that hair off so you're not treating the same hair and you also don't accidentally leave hair out. I've seen some people where they curl their hair just with it all down and well, it doesn't really work for me one because I have a lot of hair but also I always end up leaving pieces out and this just ensures that that does not happen. So you take the clip and clip, I would say like three quarters of your hair on top of your head. So then brush the hair that's down and separate it to either side. And then you're gonna put the glove on. So you wanna curl your hair away from your face. And with a wand, I actually have to really think about which way that curl will go because it's still so new to me. But really you're just gonna wrap it like this because my hair is so long, I like to kind of spread it out between my fingers so it looks almost flat against the curling iron. And then hold as long as you like, I would say like five seconds, and then release. Now if you're gonna use the cool shot, like you can see that was a really nice curl, but let's say you wanted to use the cool shot, there's the button right here kind of like you're pulling the trigger on again. And then you blow air and then release. And there you go, look at how pretty and perfect this curl is. All right, so now we're gonna switch sides. Okay, I have to think about this. So if you're curling away from your face, you're gonna go up. 
on the wand. This is so new to me still. All right, so you curl like that. So you're gonna curl it up the wand. And the hair on the bottom, you don't need to get that close to your scalp, because it's not gonna hold the curl most likely anyways, at least mine wouldn't. So you hold, and then you do the cool shot, and then release. Okay, and then once I'm done curling, I'll go over and spray like that. Now this is where the next clip comes into play. I honestly, the glove is nice, but it's a little clunky. So I want to try it without the glove, but I'm scared. So I don't spray before I curl because my hair just gets really crunchy. Okay, so now you take your little clip and you clip off the hair you just curled. And then you do the same thing over and over again. So you separate it. Brush it out. I'm gonna try it without the glove. Let's see. Okay, so because it's a wand, it can't hold as much hair as a curling iron. So, let's see where this go. I feel like this, I might have grabbed too much hair, but let's see. So you're gonna wrap, flatten your hair, wrap. So I'm not scared of touching this one as much because the end doesn't get hot. get with a curling iron so that's kind of fun because I think the wand it definitely gives me more root volume whereas for some reason maybe it's the size curling iron I'm using but I don't get the volume up here so I think with the wand if you really wanted to get up to the top you easily could you would just grab and start curling like right up here but it's pretty cool I think this thing's awesome and 
I think I still love my curling iron, but I think for a one inch option, the wand is a really fun alternative for a more voluminous curly haired look. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video informative and if you're thinking of buying this tool specifically for the shape, I think it's definitely worth it. If you're buying it because you think that the cool shot is going to help your hair and your curl last longer, I I wouldn't I don't think that that's really a good reason to buy this. It is a little bit pricey. I want to say it's 99, but I'm not quite sure. Um, it was gifted to me from Chi, but I think that overall I like it and I didn't burn my neck, so there's no hickeys here. <laughs> it's definitely something that I can incorporate into my beauty routine. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.